When dealing with an implant treatment, the team responsible for the patient's restoration consists of three primary roles of responsibility. The center of the restorative team is the restorative clinician, who is a key figure when the treatment procedure progresses. He or she is the first and last person to meet the patient, and from the patient's perspective, the one responsible for the final result. The restorative clinician is responsible for defining a proper treatment plan, deciding on the most suitable restorative solution, as well as prescribing and giving guidance to the dental technician so he or she can fabricate the restorative restoration. The second role of responsibility is the implant surgeon. This is the expert who performs the implant surgery and the one responsible for selecting a suitable implant. The implant surgeon also makes choices about healing components. The third role of responsibility is the dental technician, who fabricates and finalizes the restorative solutions, the implant crowns and bridges that will be placed on the implant restorations. The dental technician needs to work in close collaboration with both the implant surgeon and the restorative clinician to ensure that the proper prosthetic choices are made and design parameters are followed. In some cases, the restorative clinician and implant surgeon work at the same practice. It could even be the same person that holds both sets of skill. Even the dental technician may have his or her practice under the same roof. Regardless of which, these are the work roles that are required when performing oral implantology. To illustrate, we will follow an Atlantis single-tooth implant case to help you understand how the three roles must collaborate together in order to achieve a successful implant treatment. When the patient comes into the clinic, he or she will first meet the restorative clinician who will do a preliminary examination of the patient's oral status. The restorative clinician owns the case and chooses which implant surgeon should perform the implant surgery and selects which dental laboratory to involve for manufacturing the final restorative solution. The next step is for the treatment team to evaluate the case conditions to come up with a treatment plan for the patient. The implant surgeon and dental technician make recommendations for the procedure, but it is the restorative clinician who needs to approve the final treatment plan, as he or she will be responsible for the final result. Factors such as the local health condition of the mucous membrane, the position and density of the jawbone, as well as the adjacent and opposing teeth are all parameters that play a key role when planning for the implant treatment. When all patient-specific parameters have been aligned to the treatment plan, the restorative clinician will inform the patient about the treatment plan as well as what material and component selections that have been made. It is also important that the patient is informed about what short and long-term results are realistic as well as what is expected in terms of aftercare and maintenance. When the treatment plan has been presented, the next step is for the restorative clinician to refer the patient to the implant surgeon who will perform the implant surgery. The patient case that we will follow throughout this course is a single tooth restoration, which is one of the most common types of implant treatment and a common starting point for our new implant customers. Keep in mind, the treatment process is different when handling single tooth restorations compared to multiple unit cases. The treatment process can also vary depending on the type of restorative solution in terms of both treatment planning and surgery, as well as in terms of ordering, manufacturing, and aftercare. When the patient has accepted the treatment procedure, the selected materials, and the treatment cost, it is time to involve the implant surgeon. As a first action, the implant surgeon validates the initial treatment plan by examining the patient's oral anatomy. As an example, if the implant surgeon finds the patient's bone quality and quantity to be inadequate for the planned procedure, this type of information must be communicated back to the restorative clinician. Changes to the initial treatment plan may, for instance, require the restorative clinician to edit his or her loading protocol. In an ideal situation, the implant surgeon would not only select an appropriate implant system, 
but also share the responsibility of selecting the appropriate prosthetic components that, together with the implant system, guarantees a successful and durable final patient-specific solution. Before ordering a restorative solution from the dental laboratory, an implant level impression is made and sent to the dental technician. This is sent together with the case prescription form. The procedure involves communicating both the type of implant connection and the type of restorative solution which will be used. Here it is determined whether the restoration should be cement or screw retained and what the desired material as well as what the emergence profile should be. It must also be ensured that the selected components stay within the boundaries of the terms of warranty. The restorative clinician should follow up with the dental technician to ensure that the prescribed requirements can be met. It is your responsibility as a sales representative to ensure that the restorative clinicians have good knowledge of the selected implant system as well as its associated components and services. This will help them to better foresee the outcome of their decisions. The dental technician is responsible for using the correct components and materials when creating the restorative solution. The dental technician also ensures that the correct emergence profile has been selected, as well as the correct parameters for the abutment and crown. He or she is also responsible for the quality assurance of the patient-specific single-tooth restoration. In some cases, the patient comes to the dental laboratory to match the shade of the crown so that it blends in with adjacent teeth. The dental technician may also take photos of teeth shape and verify teeth articulation. Finally, the dental technician delivers a declaration of compliance to the restorative clinician, which functions as a reference for the selected components, materials, and final restoration. Once the final prosthetic solution has been designed and manufactured, the case is sent to the restorative clinician. The restorative clinician will be the first and last person to meet the patient during the treatment and is responsible for the final outcome. The restorative clinician attaches the cement retained or screw retained single tooth solution to the implant. The completion of the restoration is the result of planning, performed surgery, component specifications, hard and soft tissue situation, as well as the patient specific design parameters. At this stage, the restorative clinician wants to be confident that the treatment team has made well-considered choices and that everything has been executed according to plan. The main goal should always be to restore what is important to the patient in everyday life, like a nice smile, articulation, being able to chew properly, and in many cases getting relief from pain. It is important to follow up on the results to ensure both short and long-term success. Aftercare is also handled by the restorative clinician at his or her practice, where regular checkups ensure that the patient is able to keep the restorative solution clean and see to it that function and aesthetics are maintained. The patient should consider the restoration just as any natural tooth. Even though it is not subject to discoloration, maintaining good hygiene by both brushing and flossing prevents the surrounding teeth from changing shade, allowing the restoration to blend in the way it was designed. To accommodate the restorative clinicians, we provide both printed and online materials that may be handed out to the implant patients. This consists of both daily care recommendations as well as a patient card, which provides details about the performed treatment and details about which implant and abutment has been used. Densply Serona Implants vision is to help create a world where everyone eats, speaks, and smiles with confidence. As you can see, each step of the procedure involves all members of the treatment team. However, the restorative clinician is responsible overall for the patient and the final outcome of the restoration. Therefore, he or she needs to be aware of the entire procedure, including the selection of prosthetic components and the selection of implant systems. Thank you for your participation in Combined Efforts Make the Difference.